evolution, isn't it? As people are evolving, we're, we're getting better and sort of we move along and there's a journey forward. And I would say you're quite right, there's, 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 as a society, say just just uh, if I may, so say as British society, there's certain things we've moved forward on. You know, we, we used to tell uh, <coughs> Irish jokes 20 years ago. Now you cringe to think you were told those jokes, they're really wrong. So there's an evolution, there's a moving forward. Do you feel like Islam moves forward? That's the thing, like, we had that before. We were, there was no such thing as racism in Islam. You're not allowed to, Islam says all people are equal in the eyes of God. And it doesn't matter what colour you are or Have you seen that written from. in the Quran? Yeah. How does that sit with them on, on one level? It says a black man, uh, it says an Arab is not better than a non-Arab, and a non-Arab is not better than an Arab, because at that time they were very proud um, people, the Arabs, which is where the Quran um, was revealed. Because it's revealed it to mean that you're better than everyone else. So there wasn't racism, and that's what spoke to Malcolm X as well. So when he went to Mecca, everyone was standing shoulder to shoulder as people. So, but you're saying there's been um, we've evolved here, but in Islam we already had that about being human. Should you feel? Like, again, from, from what I see, I, I've seen videos on YouTube where gay people, gay people are being thrown off buildings in complete terror. It's on YouTube, but it's all there. It's, and it, the, the, the crowd below, it's not one or two. There's hundreds of people cheering this, this on as these poor gay people in what I can't imagine the level of terror they're being thrown off. The mullahs that I see and the holy men I see of Islam, they seem to condone this, they seem to say this is a good thing. How do you feel about that? It's happening, it's not happening in, in spite of Islam, it's happening because of Islam, in the name of Islam. These chaps who killed these people out for, for the night out the other week, actually was putting the knives in. And he, he was shouting, this is for Allah. It's hard to disconnect the two things. But then it's unfair, it's like if someone stood up there and said we're doing this for Jesus, I would not then say there's a flaw in the religion and say that person clearly doesn't know what his religion is telling him. So, so what, what, what bad things do you think are currently being named? Done in the name of Jesus or in the name of Christianity, probably around the world but today. The KKK. Uh, I, I, think, I think the KKK is, is a is a red heading. If the KKK does in fact exist, I, I would imagine that it, it, it exists in the deep south in America, and its membership might member a couple of hundred if you were lucky. I'd be surprised if they do more than meet on a Tuesday night in a bar and sing a few old boy songs. And that's probably as far as the KKK. The KKK is, is a red heading that's thrown out by the myth. Okay, well, I, I, let's, let's do that. Let, let's, I, I would disagree that the KKK is any type of force at all in any real existence. Can you give me any example, say, even in the last five or ten years, that the KKK has done anything that's bad? If they exist, I don't think they exist personally. But can you give me any examples? I just don't. I feel like if you seek hate, then that's what you see. For me, I don't try and find a flaw in Christianity or in people. I try and bring out the good. Like, okay. look at what these Christians are doing. They're or not even sure. addressing them as Christians. Look at what these people are doing with these people, and yeah. you know. And I try and bring that up. So one of the shows that I do in my radio station is bringing inspirational people onto my show to talk about the good that they're doing in the community sure. to encourage and inspire others to do the same thing. Really I wouldn't thing. go and go on the internet and find some bad things that Christians did or the KKK because I don't want to know about the bad things. Okay. I'm not going to fight someone and say, oh, you know, stop, tit for tat. The Muslims did this, but the Christians did that, and the Christians did this, and the Jews did that. And like, but again, you, you, you're using that example saying the Christians did that and the Jews did that. I'll present that to you, back to you and say, okay, so, so clearly there must be things that these groups are doing that are really bad. You mentioned, you mentioned Israel, you mentioned the Jews. What's your feeling towards Israel? Israel. Yeah, how do you feel? Any killing as well. Did you feel Israel has a right to exist? If I feel like people have should live together in peace. Do you think there should be a, a Jewish state called Israel and should be allowed to exist? If they do it in a, in a peaceful manner and they can work together, then but apart from killing each other, I mean, they, they seem like, to be doing it in a peaceful manner. I would say. If you look at the Middle East, so if you look at the Middle East, there seems to be one tiny strip of land that seems to work, and that place is called Israel. They're fighting together. They're killing a lot of people to get that. Who are killing a lot of people? The, the, the Israelis, they're killing a lot of Palestinians. Are, are they doing that in defence, or are they, are they, are they aggressors, well, or are they defenders? People would argue from either side. I, 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 would, I would say, again, give me an example where the, the, 
that their, their actions are defensive, I think, because nobody wants peace in the Middle East more than the Israelis. I think they're, they're desperate for peace, they're desperate for a quiet life. But they, they live on a constant war fetting. Opinions on that? Is that opinions. Opinions. Kind of goes down to what you're looking at and where you're getting that information from. And from what side? At the end of the day, the most important thing for me is Islam condemns murder okay. of, Mansour. of innocent life. I was having a bit of fun with him. And that we work mate. together. I was having a bit of fun Whether that's in Israel or Palestine or what's, England what's or the other Pakistan, wherever it is, Islam is, is not, we don't. Well, why, why do you think there seems to be a sizable proportion of Muslims who aren't getting that message about the peaceful living? What's I don't your think they're that? acting upon Islam. I, don't, I wouldn't consider them Muslims. I would just say they're, they're just random people who have issues within themselves and acting on their own accord. So, so if, let's say this proportion becomes... 10% or 20% of people who are, to, to use your stance, misunderstanding Islam. They're not misunderstanding Islam, they're just using Islam. They're not mis if you understood Islam for what it really is, you'd, re you'd realise that this Islam does not... But the, the, guy, the guys who are committing these atrocities, they, they spend, seem to spend more time with their head in the Quran than absolutely anybody else. They seem to be ticking all the boxes, um, committing to the, uh, Respecting Ramadan, praying when they should, reading the Quran, with, they seem to be the most up to speed on the Quran. And yet these are the guys that seem to be carrying out these acts. This is what I mean. You can have someone, a Christian, who goes to their church all the time, who puts their hand up and prays in front of everyone, but they've not got a clean heart and they don't really appreciate what Christianity I, really teaches. I, I, I I, even in my religion, it says you can pray five times a day and fast, but yeah. if you're not doing what Islam really teaches, which is doing, um, being good in the community, Community and um, and giving your neighbours rights, then are you Islam is just so much more than okay. praying on so five why, times a day. So why is it? Why is it I, I would take your point if somebody goes to a church. I absolutely agree with it. It's what's in the heart. It's all about the heart. It's the most important thing that I would say. That's what God sees and God listens to. Why, why is it that, 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 that so many Muslims are missing? If you, you tell me there's a beautiful message in Islam, why is it that so many people seem to be missing that message? They're not. There's so many Muslims here. That living peacefully, she's a Muslim, and are you a Muslim? And do you, do you live peacefully in your community? No doubt, there must be. There, there There's must loads. Be. If, if Islam taught hate was to kill all the disbelievers, there'd be no. We'd be killing everyone. In the countries where uh, 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 the majority in terms of the population of the world, and I just went up to say that you fight in the countries where Islam has the edge in terms of population. That is so. What happens in For example, that's the government and not the Muslims. Pakistan. It's not Pakistan. And we agree that there's a problem in the system of Pakistan. It's not the religion. I get it. My sister went there, came back crying, and said they, the things that they do to children are horrendous and it's against Islam. Again, it seems as so. Pakistan is like an experiment. So you had India, and then in 1947, it split, and it became 46 or 47. It split, and, and, and uh, Pakistan was formed, and, and it became uh, a Muslim country. Uh, if you don't feel unsafe or anything, let me know if this, if this move has gone on around you. Are they throwing? Are you okay? Yeah. Are they throwing anything? No. No, we're okay. You're safe. You're fine. So it, it'd be like an experiment, so a piece of land was given to uh, Islam, to Muslims, we called it Pakistan. Now you'd think if that was uh, uh, based on a theocracy, if that was based on Islam, then that country, within a matter of time, would become like a... Uh, uh, become like a caliphate, it become like a Muslim paradise because everyone was there was committed to the course of Islam. Yeah. And again, I'll go back to you before and say, judge something by its fruits, fruits and I'd say, I look at Pakistan, I don't see a utopia, and that is a country that is just based on Islam. And again, throw it, you throw it to me. They're not, but that's the thing, they're not because they're not basing, they're, they're not, it's not based on the religion, they're being selfish, okay. just so it, 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 surely you can have Islamic culture. So no, no, 
it's not no, Islamic it's not. culture, no. It's not. Sure, okay, there's, 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 there's just religion and then there's culture. Like, I dis my parents disagree with certain things in the Pakistani culture, which is you can't marry someone who's not Pakistani. Not only do they have to be Pakistani, they also have, not at all Pakistanis agree with this, but they have to be part of a certain sect of um, being Pakistani. My parents had married you as one, as long as they're good people. Okay. And that's what, basically what she just said is the problem me and her are having. So okay. we are a live example. It, so what, so what it is, yeah, that's not religion. Okay, so I'm late to the debate. Are you saying that in Islam that you can marry anybody? In Islam you can marry people of different cultures. No, you can only marry Al Khatib, people of the book. So you could, a, a yeah, Muslim yeah, woman can marry I'm no one other than. like ethnicity. No, so, uh, okay, but I thought you were talking about religion. Sorry, I thought you were saying that in Islam you can only, Muslims can only marry Muslims. Yeah. And that's the case unless you're um, a Muslim man and then you can marry a woman of the book. So either a Christian or a Jew like myself. Well, not like myself because a man wouldn't be able to marry me in Islam because that's not so. <laughs> Uh, that's, a whole that's, that's so halal. Uh, Are you Jewish? Sir? I am Jewish. Yeah. Did, um, did you, do you feel Israel is under threat from the world of Islam? Um, I feel that Israel is under threat every breathing second of its existence. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think Israel and the Jews would like to live in, in peace? One hundred percent. And do you think you work hard and fight for that day? So day we, yeah, well, there's been numerous peace offers. So Camp David, Taba, there was a huge um, peace offering where there was the right to turn off of the sun. 97% of the land that the Palestinians wanted was offered to them and billions of dollars in compensation of Palestinians that had to leave the, or that left in the 48 war they were offered huge and it was rejected so yeah Israel makes huge efforts for peace I mean when, when, from, the, from, the, from the press from the left leaning press for the sea so I'd say the, the BBC and the, the, the main media streams are very leftist but even when I look at those news channels the, the, the reports from Islam seem to be they seem to despise the, 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 the nation of Israel and the Jewish people. We don't have a problem with Jewish people. I think within Islam it's divided into two. So the Quran says that Jews can go to, to heaven, but it also says in another ayah uh, that the Jews will turn into apes and pigs. So one Muslim can read it and say that Jews are Muslims and pigs, and another, another Muslim can say they go to heaven. It does depend on the Muslim and how they interpret their faith. What, what, what is that? So uh, which, one, which one? The one that Jews can go to Jannah or the, 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 the So I uh, do. Uh, uh, Look at it on the internet. I'm unfortunately I'm Do you, do you, read, you know, so when you source this information, is it from the Quran itself or is it from